think a bit of age. I think you just get a bit more experience to at what you've got to try and do and play in the uh, playing county cricket in the game that you do. Obviously, gained an, a number of years of experience playing for starting off with Somerset, then playing international cricket, and now back with Somerset. That you just sort of build the you know what what you've got an understanding about what you've got to try and do to you know to maintain being at the top really. Of course, I think um, you know I play the game because I just got a huge passion for what I do. I'm really excited every time you get the, the chance to go out to bat to try and perform and, and put a show on for people. Really, so it's quite a nice thing to you know to think that you've achieved something by giving somebody else uh, entertainment along the way. It's not changed a great deal. I think you've got a, I've got a template that's very similar now to what it was when I when I played in my in my sort of early stages really. But you just sort of tweak it. You, little things along the way may develop. That you learn things. You try and you try and copy people. You try and pick up things from other great players that have played the game, uh, and you try and learn up what's uh, what they've done. I try to be aggressive. I'm not somebody who's going to sit there all day and block a hundred. You know that's not my style of cricket. I'm quite aggressive. I like to get the the game moving forward, but also entertain. I like to put on a bit of a show. As you get more experience, you learn how to deal with more characters and, and personnel that you can adapt them into their own style of play more than what I'm trying to do. I think, of course, you, you go through stages throughout the season when you know you might pick up you know three injuries to three key players in your in your batting lineup, and it might mean that the senior players have to take more responsibility and slow things down and not be quite as aggressive. So you're always aware of what the situation is with the team. We've been quite lucky at Somerset. We've produced some very good quality players, not at the top of the order, not just at the top of the order, but all the way through. When I first started, it was very, very different to what it is now. The game has developed, isn't it? It's in the introduction of 2020 cricket. The game has moved forward hugely. It's more athletic. Um, it's more entertaining. Um, there's no real boundary to it anymore. You know, there's, you know, no one understands what the limits of, of a 2020 game are. The preparation is better. Everyone's more professional. They're fitter. They're stronger. The game as a as a product has definitely moved on, and I think the players have moved along with it. In championship cricket and four day cricket, I would try and be relaxed. You know, I'm trying to be as calm and collected as you as you need to be. Really trying to take in other things that are going on in the changing room, having a laugh and a joke. In T20 or a one day cricket, I'm a bit more um, wait, trying to wake up a little bit, trying to get a bit more pumped because I think it's such a fast moving game. T20, you've got to be ready from ball one because you only have 20 overs of the game to play. But You can face the same bowl or bowl at the same speed and one day you can feel great, the next day you can feel terrible. And I think when if you've got Brett Lee running in at Perth, um, and I wasn't playing particularly well, but when that's happening at the time it was like, I'm going to get hit on the head here. <laughs> any, any ball could hit me and it's going to hurt. You, you've got an understanding and it's, uh, it's a frightening place to be at that point. But then you get Shoa Bakhtar bowling at 9,500 miles an hour and you're playing well on a good pitch with good good sight screens, it's the best thing in the world because the ball comes down fast and it goes off even quicker. The handle is the key part for me. It's got to feel right. You, you just, I can pick certain bats up and just go, no way could I use that. It would be almost like me batting like that way, it just wouldn't feel right. You can see they've got lots of ridges in it. It just, that's how it fits into my hands. I've got an extra grip and lots of tape underneath the bottom part of the of the handle and it's quite thin at the top. Now, don't ask me why I've ever done that, it's just something that's always felt quite comfortable. With the bat itself, they're generally quite a heavy bat, I would say sort of 212, 213 at times. The actual weight isn't a, isn't too much of a bother for me. It's, if I pick it up and it feels right, then I generally I can go out and use it. So they I might have a range of anything from sort of 210 to 3 pound 1, 3 pound 2 sometimes. Somebody who likes a lot of bow in the bats, you get when it tends to bend. You can see there's quite a big bend in the bat of this one. Um, I like those, like an Indian-shaped bat. You got a lot of people that they they press them harder to get a bit more of a bend in them to make them that way. I don't like bats that are too straight. It's just the uh, you can see the difference in it currently, can't you? You can see the length of the handle and the length of the blade. Um, you know, predominantly using sort of T20 cricket, one-day cricket, um, just gives you a bit more. You know, hitting power. You know, you, you get a bit like uh, the whip from the handle. You've got extra sort of sort of a couple of inches really 
to, to get the bat through the ball. Plus you can also then create a bit more wood into the, into the little bit of wood that you use. Um, it gives you a bigger sweet spot. Basically that whole bat there would be a sweet spot that you're expecting that any part of that bat then you can hit it for six hopefully. That would be the ideal scenario. For quite a number of times now, I think just sort of playing around, trying to get the right sort of handle in it and things, just seeing what fun you can have and see how far you can hit the ball is really an exciting sort of drill to do when you can get the bowling machines outside and see how far the ball travels and you're gaining an extra little bit of distance is, uh, is always nice to see. Probably the biggest thing for me uh, that's probably lived with me and still does really with how I play my cricket is I enjoy it massively. It's to have fun and, and even at my age, you know, I'm 36 now, I'm still the biggest kid You know, when I get a new cricket bat or going out to bat in front of a big crowd and it's just about having fun as much as you can really. Don't get too technical, don't get too worried about it, watch the ball and hit it.